a million Christians showing up at border. What they pray for has Muslims furious. Event organizers in Poland hope to inspire at least a million Catholics to congregate along the nation's 2,000-mile border next week to pray in celebration of a climactic 446-year-old battle that they claim saved Europe from being overrun by Islam. According to the UK Daily Mail, the organizers' appeal pertains to the Rosary Prayer Round Poland, an annual event where Catholic Poles pray for the well-being of their nation. The tradition started following the naval battle of Lepanto in 1571, which Encyclopedia Britannica notes pitted the allied Christian ships of the Holy League against the mighty armada of the Ottoman Turks. As the great battle approached, according to the National Catholic Register, Pope Pius V called upon all of Europe to pray the rosary for Christian victory against the overwhelming force of the Muslim fleet. After the Christian victory, the Pope instituted an annual feast day on October 7 called Our Lady of Victory. But two years later, a new Pope, Gregory VIII, changed the feast day's title to the Feast of the Holy Rosary. This year organizers hope to draw out at least a million Poles. Moreover, the Polish Bishops' Conference has reportedly endorsed the event, asking all Catholics to join the prayer, even if they're unable to be physically present at the border. Rosary is a powerful weapon in the fight against evil, and thousands of testimonies and documented miracles prove its extraordinary effectiveness, the organizers wrote on their website, according to a translation from the mail. We believe that if the rosary is prayed by about a million Poles along the borders of the country, it may not only change the course of events, but open hearts of our compatriots to the grace of God and divine help might truly be needed if Christianity is to thrive in Europe in the future. A report published just this week revealed that within 40 years, the white population in France and the rest of old Europe will recede, creating a Muslim majority, according to the Washington Times. And it's only to be expected that this Muslim majority will seek to usurp Europe's traditional systems of law and replace them with Sharia law, after which will come the killing of gays the stoning of adulterous women and God knows whatever else. As far as I'm concerned, the potential Islamization of Europe needs to be nipped in the bud, and prayer is certainly a strong start on that front. Please share this story on Facebook and Twitter and let us know what you think about this mass prayer expected along Poland's border next month. What are thoughts on Europe remaining a Christian continent? Scroll down to comment below.